Uh, during my current monthly challenge of meditation, I've become more mentally aware. It's so, all. Yeah. Not in. I'm not saying like, oh, meditation changed my life, but it's just like the constant practice of it. And instead of you know like maybe during meta and when you um, meta mayhem, and when you've previously meditated before, you may have just done it to do it. If you know what I mean? Yes. So, like, reasons why I do it, obviously, in mayhem is to gain points. Mm. Outside of that was maybe be stressed, anxious, or something like that. Maybe <laughs> you just need 10 minutes just to yeah. break off. Wow. You really hit a, a chord there. <laughs> you really explain, like, my situation as well. Mm. That's why I started doing it. Yeah. Because of what you just said. Then it progressed into kind of mayhem. And now... We're here. <laughs> yes. But basically, through this practice and what I'm really happy that I've got out with, even though it's only halfway through, which I can't wait to see what, the time I'm fucking levitating in my backyard. <laughs> 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 um, I'd pay to see that. You but, are the meditating guru as well. Yeah, That's an OG right I'm there. Really. That's OG. But, yeah, becoming mentally aware and mentally, it's like, what they, they call it what, present, how, don't you? How are you more present? So you're more... Is it you're just... If you feel more present, you are more present. Is that just how it is for you right now? Yeah, so it's like, it's a bit like practicing meditation. You have to be present in it to reap the full benefits of it because if you just sat there with your eyes closed, drifting off, which I said in the previous podcast, isn't really a bad thing, especially if you're trying to clear your mind up, which can be very useful Mm. for. You can fall into sleep in a very peaceful state of mind. Yeah, and by being present or practicing being present it's such it's almost like a different reality and it sounds so stupid and it sounds like some mad wacky shit but genuinely it may be an argument it may be road rage something like that the if you t- work it, stresses if you anything. took like if you measured the time from say um action of say let's say road rage action of possible accident or somebody being a knobhead and then time to realizing how stupid that is through meditation that has tenfolded how quickly you let it go realize you're being stupid and move on that's Mm. what being present is it's being aware of your emotions a lot more i feel like and it's stuff like you could say you're arguing that i'm arguing with my girlfriend the time, it probably doesn't take me more than, say, like, I say something, something's replied back to me, and then I can feel, if I reply and feed into it, an hmm. argument will occur. So what I'm know. able to do is recognise that a lot quicker, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I can recognise when my emotions are switched to a negative emotion, mm-hmm. and then when my adrenaline or something, or anxiety, something pops up, I can recognise that so much quicker. Do you think that your hormonal changes as growing older? Well, obviously, it's had a part to play in it, but I wonder how much of a part to play that's had. There's no way you'd be able to tell unless you knew, like, maybe like what your testosterone level were. Your testosterone levels were before mm. whatever time you started meditating more, and now. But I think that that be that be that'd a be very a interesting. interesting experiment I think hmm. maybe it, I wonder if somebody's done it yeah I'd wonder I, right I know you can obviously test got a pen <laughs> yeah, I've got one back oh on. but what a winner a topic that came about from um, meditating was tending and I bet if I say tending to you it probably won't correlate too much you know it's just like a word but tending as in tending to something. to do something so like I've written tend now <laughs> Not testosterone. So you tend in to do something. So you tend over like, so you pl- so you've got a plant in your room. You tend into the plant, making it grow. Ah, okay, okay. I so, th- I thought you meant a different type of tending. I thought you meant you were tending to do something. So you uh, like a negative, yeah, rather than a positive. Tending, I thought yeah. I tend to forget so to almost, do yeah. something. I thought that's where you were going. So it's almost like attending to something. Yeah. What are you attending to then? So it was. It was a, obviously, like I'm saying, a meditation practice. 
So they introduce you, they get your breathing slower. Uh -huh. They let you have your eight or so minutes of like silence and where you should really be focused on meditating. And at the end, they chime in with a little little peace of mind sort of thing. Like, oh, so have you been using Headspace and things like I that? I use Calm, yeah. Right. Is that uh, Sam Harris? I don't know. He does one. Uh, she's called Shamara Levitt or something right. I listen to. Um, but yeah, tending with the cap off, it really like, it probably caught me in a, like everything, timing. It's so perfect timing, like the way things align. It probably caught me in a time where I've been thinking about, like I've been saying with income streams and stuff like that, and I've been thinking about like meta and when that'll eventually turn into something similar. Even though it's not that, it's more you wanting to teach people, if you know what I mean. What what do you say with meta? Is that specifically with meta you're talking? You don't yeah, so like what comes people. from it? So so we've got like mindset meta, mm -hmm. and then it's obviously like football team. Yeah, and then it might go to a I don't even know whatever it branches off to. Yeah, that what you sent earlier that was very interesting on uh, Instagram that super brain yeah that looked very yeah so it's like whatever it turns in, turns into or whatever I'm wanting to be in the future I'm thinking about it a lot mm. and it's a bit like when we in Mayhem like we said earlier on my investing video mm. um, if you haven't watched that watch it it'll be out probably yeah yeah. we've we'll got two weeks yeah yeah definitely and because I'm interrupting here but Smashing the, those edits last night, that was a big thing that yeah. got out of the way. Mm -hmm. Anyway, carry on. But, like I said, what's So, yeah, in Mayhem. <laughs> I I'm thinking too much. Loud. Sorry. Um, mayhem is where I started looking at investing and stock market and stuff like that. I remember back then we were chatting about it so much. Mm. And then we were meeting up to play footy, weren't we? Do you remember? Like, uh, the field near yours. And we were talking about it all the time. Yeah. And now here we are, we've done it. Yeah. Like, we're in there. But like back in Mayhem when we were looking at it, I always said to myself, I'll start investing when I'm 20. It's like a nice round number or whatever and I'll do it. But I've never done it until two months ago. Mm. And so you're still 20 though. Yeah, technically. But yeah. like when I... Yeah, it's not but last time. you said you were going to start when you turned 20. Yeah, and then I'd do it like monthly from then. So uh, uh, okay. What I'm trying to get out of here is with the tending thing is I'm always thinking of something and almost waiting for it to happen mm. without maybe acting on it. So in terms of correlating that to tending, what it is is think of it like a fruit tree. You plant the seed. And water it. But instead of me watering it, coming back every day, tending to it, uh -huh. tending to it, that seed is a thought and a possibility in the future. And instead of me going like making steps towards it every day trying to figure out how to get a new income stream how to further meta how to make a video or something like that mm. i'm purely just thinking about it and it's almost like procrastination in a sense it's more thinking about the thing instead of doing the thing yes so that's that caught me at a time where i was probably very much a thinker or a procrastinator rather than a actor an actor yeah, and being proactive about things. Yeah, so, so I'm only bringing that up. It's interesting that that's obviously one of the pillars of meta, to, to, to put it like that. So obviously, mindset, evolution, time, and action. Mm. And we chose actions, call it uh, undertone, to be be the actor, not an extra. I think that's. <sighs> To say that we came up with that, I don't know if I'm just being big-headed, but that's sick. Mm. Be the actor, not because. But the the other way to think about it is as well. You could, you, do you have to be an extra before you can be an actor? I don't think so. Probably not. No. Anyway, 